This is Audsall Hall, supposedly the most haunted house in Salford. Now, I'm a bit sceptical about this sort of thing, but the North West does have a reputation for ghostly goings-on. So, seeing as Derek Acora, Britain's most famous medium, is from Merseyside, we asked him to pick his favourite spooky location and, at the same time, convince JC Normand that anyone can be psychic. Rufford Old Hall, one of Lancashire's finest 16th century buildings. And Derek Acora, now the nation's most famous, if controversial, psychic. Well, it's a lovely sunny day and Derek's asked to meet me here at Rufford Old Hall where I'm going to get my very first ghost hunting lesson. But everyone knows that ghosts don't come out until night time. Or do they? Derek, Hi. I'm so pleased to meet you. I'm, I'm pleased very, to meet you. very excited about today. Are you? Yeah, um, okay. So why Rufford? Well, Rufford Old Hall, it's got a, a wonderful, wonderful history. Um, a, a certain family that have lived in this beautiful home over hundreds of years. So, of course, we come here to see if we can pick up on some of the energies, the loving energies, the benign energies that still exist here to this day. But you weren't yes. always a medium, were you? Oh, no, I wasn't. I didn't want to be a medium. <laughs> All I wanted to be from a little boy was a footballer. And I suppose I part realised my dream um, as a youngster at Liverpool Football Club, the great Bill Shankly, um, sent the coaches along to my dad's house and said, look, we want to sign your son uh, as a schoolboy associate. And later, at the age of 15, signed as apprentice pro. Of course, that was my dream come true. Rufford Old Hall was owned by the Hesketh family for over 400 years. It's reputedly haunted by ghosts of an Elizabethan man, Queen Elizabeth I, and a grey lady believed to be Elizabeth Hesketh. She became seriously ill while her husband was away at war. They never saw each other again. I don't believe in ghosts, but will Derek's first experiment change my mind? Maybe we sat this trigger object, object up, okay? That's okay. what I'd like to I do. I thought you'd never ask. I've okay. got it in my bag. I've got, got in your bag. Good, 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 good. Um, so, is this the white paper and the, you need the pencils? Yes, please, yes. How many okay. would I draw out? Well, I would say um, we could use the three. Yes. The spirit people, if they wish, when we leave here, yeah. if they wish to demonstrate their attendance, they can move those coins away from the circles, which will be so noticeable to our eyes. Okay? No one else is going to come in this room. We won't allow anyone else to come in <laughs> to touch them. It's going to be the spirit ladies, okay? Oh, incidentally, I just thought you might like to know this. I'm very aware now of a man of the cloth. Has just come into the room? Yeah, very close by. So I would say um, probably a, a priest. Um, did you see those lights dip then? No. Did you not see it? No. At the corner of your eye? I did. I didn't actually. I hope it happens again. Really what, happens, what would happen if we come back and you see that coin on the floor? I'm going to run. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't feel anything at all, but one of our cameras has picked up some strange lights. Believers call them orbs, but others say they're simply light formations on the camera. So, can anyone be psychic? Yes, they can. Everyone is born with psychic abilities. It's just lying dormant inside, and it has to be activated by what we call development. So where do you want to go next? We'll just go a little bit further up. It's certainly the perfect setting for a haunted house, isn't it? It is. Maybe a little bit further. Where's the best place normally? Right Derek has suggested that we place a video camera in the bedroom and leave it to record. Okay. If we just slightly move over without cause an alarm, yeah. that there, and place the camera viewing towards the bed. Why do you think it should point towards the bed? Well, any spirit person who has actually stayed in a room, especially a bedroom like yeah. this, whether it be a woman or a man, they're familiarised with this room. So, should we move into another room? Shall, I'd like Are to you know. sensing anything in here at the moment? Not in what we call spiritual activity. Okay. But that doesn't mean to say it's not going to be in five minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah. What Derek and I aren't aware of during the filming is that the camera is beginning to mist up. 
Why would people come back and visit? Well, it's, it's your choice. You're in the physical body like I at the moment. If I can suggest this to you, when it comes to the time that you leave and go over there, do you think for one moment that you wouldn't be interested in going back to see certain places, places you've lived in, people that you've had to leave behind? Surely that's what you'd want to do. People who don't believe in mediums and psychics might say, obviously it's a really well-known house in Rufford, there's a lot of history surrounding it, we know the Hesketh live here and there's like rumours that a queen had visited. Mm. What would you say to that? Rather than just name names, when we come on investigations, like we've come, you've wanted to come on this investigation, we go beyond just giving that to asking the spirit people who could be active there to demonstrate, to, to let us know through, through these objects that they are around. So, so that is not a history thing, it's actually happening at the moment in the investigation. And that is the true worth of an investigation or when a medium is working. How weird. Could understand if it was wet, but it's yeah. not wet. Well, it had to happen. The mist has become a big problem for my car cameraman, and we have to stop wow. filming. We've set trigger objects, and they're saying maybe, well, let's do something different. Let's cause everyone to say, well, what's this? We've not had this before. So that's the spirit of people at work. You so you would see that as a message of somebody I trying would. to... I yeah. would, absolutely. Yeah, a sign, a message of what they're going to do. Or a technical hitch, we just don't know. I don't think it is a technical <laughs> hitch. I don't think it is at all. It's beliefs like these that have made Derek Akora a controversial figure. Some people simply don't believe he can contact spirits. I'm not here as a medium in the work that I do to say this is the only truth and is the truth. How dare I? I can just say what I've experienced in all the years with spirit people is I know the truth of their existence and I would like, and mediums like me, would like people to know that there is an existence. It's time to see if anything has happened to our trigger objects. So should we have a look at the camcorder and yes. see if we've managed to capture anything? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, okay, right, let's put the torch down. The moment of truth. Yes. We've got a perfect shot of the bed, but not a spirit person, no. Well, there's nothing on the camera, but downstairs is much more interesting. Have they moved? Remember, you've placed them in. Were that they one's perfect? a slight move, maybe. And how about this one? Look at this one. Oh, yeah. That's way over, isn't it? That is a little bit over, actually. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Although, I mean, you could say that we have been quite noisy in the house and walking about quite a bit. Could it not be that just the vibrations from us moving around the place I don't have moved think, the coins? Uh, no, I don't think so, because when you think about walking through here, it's carpeted the whole way. Even the stairwell is, you know, we're talking about a height which wouldn't disturb a heavy coin on a piece of paper. Do you think? I don't know. I just don't know. So just as we're walking now into this area, I've become very... Well, to be honest, I haven't so much as felt a cold draught, but it's been a fascinating day. So that's the end of the ghost hunt. Yeah. Do you think I've shown some potential? I do. I, I feel you've gone from the first rung of the ladder and you put your foot onto the second, so you can go anywhere from there.